this is NJ, your host on this channel. In this video, we will have our discussion on the upcoming transit of planet Venus, which on October 2nd will transit the sign of Leo. And from October 2nd till November 2nd, it's going to be strengthened over here. So guys, although from Venus's point of view, this is not a favorable sign placement for Venus to be placed in. But just because during this year, the kind of influence which it is going to be receiving. Now, as you can fairly see that uh, throughout this day of Venus in the Leo, it is going to be receiving the straight aspect from the planet Saturn and it is also going to be receiving the fifth aspect from the planet Jupiter as well. So now all the attributes which Venus represents, where we talk about love, romance, relationship, uh, luxury, favors and all, anything to do with your charm, your magnetism. So these two planetary influence which Venus is going to be receiving during this time, that will definitely add some sort of blessing, some sort of luck attached over there. And just because um, although uh, Venus sees Saturn as a very good friend, but also even from the straight aspect from the planet Saturn as well, in whichever uh, direction you will eye, you will get attracted towards or you will be interested. There will be some long term investment or good hidden for you as well. So yes, guys, let's now just uh, shift our discussion customized to all the Lugnas and starting first with the Aries Lagna natives. So guys, uh, just because in your case, uh, Venus has got the rulership over your second house of your family, of your finances, and seventh house of your commercial interest, of your relationship. And now guys, as you can see that Venus is going to be transiting in the uh, Leo sign in your fifth house, which will definitely be a very good indication. Definitely guys, if in your life right now, Venus is in a governing state. Like for example, if you're already going through uh, Antar Dasha of the Venus or Pratantar Dasha of Venus or your business or your occupation is straight away connected with the Venus during this time you can actually remain lucky in sort of gaining some new opportunities as well because guys uh, whenever we talk about fifth house fifth house becomes very important for any of the transformation at your profession second thing is that uh, fifth house is also a very important house in all those profession where you have to counsel or give advice to people where you have to do very intelligent intellectual oriented work where there is a lot of risk uncertainty is involved and definitely where you have to make use of your charm or magnetism in your personality to progress in the life so overall guys whether we talk about from your academic point of view anything to do with the love romance point of view during this time because uh, very soon uh, Rahu will also leave your first house as well so even from the point of view of getting attracted towards someone or getting into a romantic uh, relationship with someone and all. So the transit of Venus in your fifth house is definitely very uh, harmonious for all the Aries Lagna natives. The only flaw side over here is that because guys, Venus is a planet of charm and all the beautiful things in the life. So students might get a little bit distracted as well. And because fifth house also tells about the way our mind function. So a lot many um, Aries Lagna natives might be driven more towards uh, impressing other people or too much indulgences in the uh, food shopping and all so over there you have to maintain a balance but overall a very beneficial time for the Aries Lagna natives and definitely guys because very soon there's going to be a whole uh, motley combination of the planets which is going to be taking place in your seventh house so in your professional front in your commercial front there are lot many churning up lot many transformation breaking up or meeting uh, new people is on the cards for you but the good part over here is that because of the Venus's presence uh, in your fifth house your intellect will actually work in a right way. You will not be very condescending. Rather, I would say in a very diplomatic way, you will be able to make your moves or plan all of your strategies. Now, guys, uh, for all the Taurus Lagna natives, so definitely, guys, uh, in your case, uh, Venus uh, becomes your ascendant lord. So its transit will definitely have a strong say in your life. And now because Venus is going to be transiting in your fourth house. So like the way, guys, I always say this thing that um, because uh, whenever uh, planets like Venus or Moon, whenever they transit from the uh, fourth house, it is actually a kind of a feel good factor kind of energy. So for anything to do with indulging in luxury or feeling very important, being very well taken care by your loved ones. So regarding all that front, this is going to be a very auspicious transit. Second thing is that if in any capacity, Venus is right now active in your life. Let's say, for example, you're already going through 
uh, under the show of Venus, Prithi under the show of Venus, or you are in a business of either Venus or all the businesses connected with the fourth house, where we talk about uh, dairy business or interior decor business or anything to do with the public service as well. So overall, guys, it's a very good energy. Like this is a kind of a typical transit where uh, people take some important decision in their life because in your case, as you can see that your ascendant lord is going to be receiving straight aspect from the um, planet Saturn from your 10th house as well. And with this whole motley combination of the planets taking place in your sixth house, I would say that in your professional front as well, there will be some major churning up which can happen, which will bring very stability in your life or which will um, take you to the right places like where you will have this feeling that I have found my niche. I am I have reached home. So that sort of feeling, feeling secured, well taken care by people. And I would say that even um, like uh, if in your lifestyle or I would rather say that if you can afford that lifestyle. So during this time, anything to do with, um, you know, um, uh, feeling rejuvenated, relaxed, any trip to any uh, spa or planning any vacation with the family or inviting your loved ones in your house. So during this time, any of the gathering, any of the socialization which you will do with your loved ones, uh, that will be very therapeutic, like very uh, feel good uh, factor kind of energy you will experience. So overall, guys, I only have good things to say for the Taurus Lagna natives and nothing could be better than that. If you're already in the um, time period of the Venus as well, some very good results are on the cards for all the Taurus Lagna natives. Now, guys, uh, for all the Gemini Lagna natives. So, guys, in your case, as you can freely see that uh, Venus uh, becomes a very important planet for you because it has got the rulership over your fifth house as well. And in transit, it is going to be uh, now uh, transiting your third house. So, guys, uh, when it comes down to the third house, uh, presence of Venus or transit of Venus, a lot of the mixed things have been written that on a positive side, this is a kind of a, a placement or transit of Venus, which can actually give you a good interpersonal relation, uh, some very pleasurable uh, travels or some sort of projects might uh, initiate or kickstart because of the support of the females. And lot many astrologers are also advocate of this thing that uh, Venus's influence in the third house can also make you a little bit flirt as well. Uh, it might also give a um, kind of, you know, uh, temptation towards uh, extramarital relationship and getting attracted towards people. So I would say that in majority of the cases, I have not seen it to be working on a negative side. Rather, uh, definitely if in your line of work, anything to do with the social media marketing, you are a self-employed person, freelance person, you are a designer. So this is going to be a very fortunate transit for all the Gemini Lagna natives. Guys, try to understand this thing that in a way that your fifth um, like your fifth house lord is going uh, 11 places from it. So that in itself means that from your intellect, you will be able to uh, take some very important decision and nothing would be better than that. If you are in any case or in any capacity connected with the fields of teaching, training, any business connected with children, anything to do with art, entertainment, media, social media, marketing, definitely you will get benefited. So yes, guys, I would say that a uh, lot many opportunities for you, some pleasurable travels and um, you will also get a chance to connect on a very deeper level with your friends as well. And during this time, whomsoever you will come in contact, you will be able to leave a lasting impression as well. So overall, guys, it's a good transit for you guys. Try to make the best use out of it. Now, guys, uh, when we talk about the um, cancer lagna natives, so definitely, guys, uh, in your case, as you can see that uh, Venus is going to be transiting in your second house. So guys, uh, in your case, uh, Venus becomes a very important planet because it has got the rulership of two most important houses of recognition, favors, popularity, masses and all. So I would say that if in any capacity you are working in the domain of Venus or your income is connected with the attributes of Venus, where we talk about uh, music, we talk about luxury, we talk about um, kind of customer service, catering to people, any of the business or products which directly serves uh, women or females. So I would say that if you are engaged in all these businesses, so this is going to be a very auspicious or favorable time for you. Second thing is that guys, like the way I already mentioned this thing that uh, if you are working on that scale that you are 
doing anything for the female empowerment or uh, like um, here what i'm seeing is that 11th house also represents uh, big groups big networks 4th house also represents public so i would say that uh, this is a kind of a uh, uh, transit and because your lagna is also a feminine sign so if in any capacity you are working in the direction of upliftment of women women empowerment or you are um, working on any projects where on a very mass level you're gonna influence uh, females so definitely this is going to be a very very auspicious or harmonious transit for you so yes guys um, definitely a lot many um, cancer lagna natives are heading in the right direction and as you know this thing that second house also tells about your speech as well so uh, venus's transit over here will definitely make you very soft spoken and um, because of your good decision making you will be able to uh, connect with some very important people during this time as well and i would say that like even if any gathering within the family is going to take place that will be very rejuvenating very comfort giving for all the cancer lagna natives so overall it's a good transit for the uh, cancer lagna natives try to make the best use out of it now guys uh, when we talk about the leo lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that definitely venus becomes a very important planet because it has got the rulership over your third house and the 10th house now guys the only way i see this uh, transit little bit vulnerable because um, the way the whole motley combination of the planets are going to be now taking place um, in your third house and during this time only your ascendant lord is going to get debilitated in the third house as well so i would say that um, the first half of this transit will definitely manifest uh, better results for you but after the second half like i would say that then you have to remain a little bit cautious and careful any of the wrong or rash decision taken by you might land you in trouble or specifically you might um, come the uh, like you might be in the uh, fury of the females around you so do not do anything which could offend someone and specifically females during this time you have to remain very careful and all of that will get more applicable or valid after uh, like October uh, 17th once your ascendant lord is going to get debilitated in the third house and with the overall influence of K2 and all the planets which are going to be concentrated over there but yes guys uh, apart from that in the first half like the way i was mentioning it your 10th house lord and third house lord is going to be transiting in your first house so that in itself means lot many opportunities for you and if in any capacity um you are in like a uh, public service or you are a uh, like um, creator working in the fields of art entertainment media politics whichever field where you are the face and um, you know that public trust is uh, very much needed or uh, that charm and magnetism is needed so i would say that you will excel in all these areas during this time so any of the uh, public meeting public speaking going on presentation meeting important people taking any important decision at your professional front as well so time period till um, uh, october 17th the first half of this transit will be very much favorable for you in the second half you have to remain very cautious very careful that uh, driven by your high ego or um, that degree and sense of self-importance you should not do something which is straight away going to uh, offend or affect females that is the only one thing which i want to say but yes guys uh, for all those people who are uh, in any capacity connected with the uh, government and all uh, for them this is going to be a very harmonious transit whether you are connected with government or entertainment business uh, i would say it's going to be beneficial time for you moving ahead guys now for all the virgo lagna natives so guys uh, in your case as you can see that although venus is a very favorable planet for you because it has got the rulership over your ninth house of luck and fortune as well and now it is going to be transiting in your uh, 12th house so guys uh, like the way at the beginning of this video only i mentioned this thing that venus do not see a uh, leo as a friendly sign and like the way if you follow this concept of um, that uh, a planet which is uh, going towards debilitation so there is a term in hindi called as the nicha rohi so that means that planet immediate after that is going to get into the sign of its debilitation so overall guys uh, i would say that during this time uh, doing charities will become very important for you second thing is that 
बिकॉज वीनस एंड लियो दीज आर द टू एनर्जीज विच ऑलवेज वॉन्ट्स टू शाइन इन द फ्रंट यू कैनॉट पुट दीज टू थिंग्स इन द इन द बैक ऑफ द स्क्रीन दे हैव टू बी इन द अप फ्रंट इन द लाइम लाइट बट दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ एनर्जी वेयर a lot many virgo lagna natives will be forced to be a part of the crowd so i would say that if circumstances get aligned in a way that you are not getting the right credit for your work or you are being put in the back in any of the project so it will be much better to go with the flow because this is what the planetary vibration is indicating for you second thing is that um, expenses can definitely go very high um and i would say that if planets are hard bent on this honor its energies in the form of doing some charities or donation third thing is that in any and in only one capacity where i am seeing this uh, transit to be very fortunate uh, anything to do uh, with the pilgrimages uh, ninth house lord is going to be transiting in the 12th house and again guys it's a planet which in itself is very uh, kind of auspicious for you but also it has got a very benefic nature as well it's naturally benefic and for you functionally benefic as well so because of which um, pilgrimages will be very rejuvenating very therapeutic and uh, anything to do with the foreign land as well like during this time if you are in a mood to uh, get enroll into any foreign university or with a uh, business strategy and plans in mind you will undertake any of the foreign travel foreign trip so anything connected with the 12th house i would say that if your interests are aligned over there then this could be a beneficial time for you but overall my recommendation to the uh, virgo lagna natives uh, for a certain time period is that because of this whole planetary concentration very soon going to be taking place in your second house and a uh, venus in your uh, like 12th house try not to force yourself to be on the up front if circumstances are not allowing that second thing is that even within the family matters as well it will be much better not to get into any conflict or not to dig the ghost of the past because as you know that with this whole planetary concentration in your second house some sort of turmoil or churn up will definitely happen and the result of that or the lord of that house second house lord is going to be uh, transiting in your 12th house so uh, digging deep in the ghost of the past might not bring out something uh, therapeutic or rejuvenating for you so it's much better to keep it uh, kind of locked and focus on other important priorities of your life specifically during this time uh, moving ahead guys now as you can see for the uh, libra lagna natives so definitely guys in any case i always say this thing libra natives are my favorite but also uh, during this time the transit is also very favorable for you because uh, whenever we have to um, study any of the transit if your moon sign lord or your ascendant lord is a part of it that transit in itself becomes very important so guys it's your ascendant lord which is going to be transiting in your 11th house for whole one month so that in itself means that this will be a indication of the enhancement of reputation more opportunities connecting with the like minded people uh, increase uh, in your uh, income flow of income so overall guys um, like the way the the way planets are going to be influencing you my recommendation is that do not hesitate or shy away in asking for any favor guys i have already uh, made a separate video on this and i was surprised like uh, when i have to make a video on the charts of the successful politicians i was in this impression that okay when i will look at the chart of french president or brazilian or indian or so many different uh, powerful people so i will find the prominence of saturn or uh, like uh, rahu over there but to my surprise majority of those people in their charts i found the prominence of venus and libra so i would say that connections networking is your heartbeat and during this time do not shy away in asking for any favor socialize and i would say that this is a kind of a typical time when you have to be on the limelight so like a lot many times that is the same case with me as well sometimes i'm i remain regular with my posting in other social media handles and sometimes i just overlook it ignore it but this is a kind of a time where you know um, boost your post 
do something for your promotion for your marketing be out there in the market connect with relevant people so this is how the transit is going to be influencing you second thing is that guys uh, because uh, like the way you can see that uh, in your case uh, venus is your uh, like uh, ascendant lord and uh, it is your uh, like eighth house lord as well so some sudden transformative uh, changes are in the pipeline for you because as you can see that finally ketu is going to be uh, leaving your um, like first house after staying here for almost 18 months of the time and like the way guys we say this thing that rahu ketu and specifically understand this thing um, <laughs> the way people say that uh, rahu no matter whatsoever it gives it takes more than that while going away and ketu no matter how much it takes away from you it gives more to you before finally leaving so the way whole planetary alignment is now taking place ketu very soon is going to be leaving your first house and your ascendant lord being in the 11th house so definitely you are headed in the right direction and uh, i would say that you just have last one month left for uh, getting the best of the mantras and blessings from this very spiritual planet um, transiting in your first house do everything with a uh, good intent and just do more uh, networking marketing financially professionally and even from your public image point of view more opportunities point of view this is going to be a very favorable transit for all the libra lagna natives now guys uh, for all the uh, scorpio lagna natives so guys uh, in your case as you can see that uh, venus has got a rulership over your uh, like uh, 12th house and it has also got the rulership over your 7th house as well and now it is going to be transiting in your uh, like uh, 10th house for almost a month's time so guys to begin with now as you can see that the 7th house lord is going in the 10th house so that in itself means that uh, people who are connected with business or for any of your commercial interest during this time there could be some um, like award or your work will be recognized or suddenly uh, landing at some lucrative opportunity and all so regarding all that front this seems to be very auspicious favorable transit for you now guys the only concern over here is that because the concentration of the planets and its energies and vibrations in your uh, 12th house now the good part over here is that finally uh, ketu is going to be leaving your 12th house so i do not know in the past 18 months did you make the best use of this favorable transit of ketu in your 12th house but i would say that still um, whether you are following this habit or not but my recommendation is that with this much of the concentration of the planets right now in your 12th house charities donation uh, will become very important for you and guys my recommendation is that uh, in your professional front uh, this is, is going to be a very good time for new opportunities enhancement of reputation but when it comes down to severing ties with someone or uh, making a complete u-turn in your professional life regarding all those uh, objectives i will not give you a go ahead because uh, your 10th house lord is very soon going to be transiting in your um, like uh, 12th house and with uh, this whole uh, eclipse season in this month so my recommendation is that a uh, new opportunity whatsoever is coming to you um, be receptive towards it but when it comes down to making some abrupt change or a complete u-turn or severing ties or experimenting into something new for which you do not have any experience or expertise regarding that i would still say you have to be careful and second thing is that guys your conduct and your behavior towards the female uh, females needs to be very much uh, respected very much uh, monitored uh, because as you can see that we cannot only give attention to where a planet is transiting important is that the house where it is going to be transiting what is uh, happening with that uh, house's lord as well so uh, uh, specifically this vulnerability will be much more higher after the october 17th when the 10th house lord will be debilitated in the 12th house but overall guys i would still say that for commercial gains point of view being able to network well uh, with your uh, bosses with your um, uh, colleagues and all this is going to be a very good time and for a lot many Scorpio Lagna natives um, as well uh, because of some accomplishment or achievement of your partner like during this time there could be a slight possibility that your partner your spouse might achieve or accomplish something which will actually enhance your family's name and reputation as well so overall it's a very good transit for you just remain and stay very respectful towards your terms with the females and in any capacity if in your line of work like i would say that 
uh, if you have done or committed some mistake in the past and if those things uh, get exposed during this time so rather than acting in a very harsh way deal uh, with it very uh, diplomatically because with the whole churning up taking place in your 12th house uh, engagement in anything secretive clandestine will not be recommended as much as uh, simplistic lifestyle you will keep and ke uh, keep on doing charities and donation will be much recommended and advisable for the scorpio lagna natives moving ahead guys now for all the sagittarius lagna natives so guys uh, in your case as you can see that um, Although uh, Venus is not a very favorable planet for you, but the house where it is going to be transiting is going to be uh, manifesting some very good results for you because uh, Venus in your case has got the rulership over your 11th house and the 6th house. So one thing is for sure that during this time, if you get any opportunity uh, for any work related travel, undertake that. Second thing is that for all the students and people like uh, who have to start a new course curriculum or get enrolled in into uh, any foreign university and all uh, time period seems to be very favorable even for all those people who have to write any competitive exam or in which server capacity you have to face any competition or like rather i would say that if your uh, uh, planetary time periods are running favorable and from the past couple of uh, months you have been going through some lawsuit related turmoils and problems and all so over there as well some clarity some closure some uh, kind of you know settlement kind of uh, offers might also come to you so overall guys uh, i'm not seeing you guys vulnerable the way we say this thing that um, because specifically uh, goddess lakshmi is connected with the planet venus now when um, venus is transiting from your uh, ninth house so recitation of the shri suktam will become very important for you shri suktam uh, Siddh Kunjika Sotram and on Fridays if you can um, like uh, donate any of the white things this could be milk this could be rice in the place of uh, religious importance and also any of the charities or donation to all those NGOs uh, which are dealing with the blind people or blind school as well will be much therapeutic and much uh, promising for all the Sagittarius Lagna natives. Now guys for all the Capricorn Lagna natives. So guys in your case as you can see over here that Venus in your case becomes a Yokarka planet. So that means its transit will definitely have a strong say in your life. So guys uh, Venus in your case has got a rulership over your 10th house and the 5th house and it is going to be transiting in your 8th house. So one thing is for sure that all the attributes which Venus represents you will experience transformation over there so like this could be that in your uh, relationship or with your partner with your spouse suddenly relationship might go through some transformation that uh, you did not have any access to the deep unspoken emotions of your partner or what sort of um, emotional uh, battles your partner is going uh, through and suddenly you will get an access to that so this is a kind of energy where either people get completely apart or they come very close to each other so that sort of transformation you might experience in the matters of your relationship second thing is that guys uh, definitely because your 10th house lord is going in the 8th house now a lot many times people get mistaken but you have to understand this thing that for a planet to be in the uh, 8th house from the 10th it means it has gone 11th place ahead of it so again guys it all comes down to individual to individual what role 8th house plays in your life like let's say for example if you have interest or professionally as well you are operating in the domain of the 8th house insurance revenue occult research so all those people can suddenly get benefited as well because guys as you can see that during this time uh, venus is going to be receiving some very favorable aspect as well uh, receiving the aspect from your ascendant lord from the planet jupiter so during this time it has got more potential to do good for you rather than doing bad the only vulnerability is that definitely guys when it comes down to your personal conduct and behavior so um, uh, your attitude and your behavior towards the females and specifically female co-workers have to be very very respectful second thing is that guys because uh, in your case venus has got the rulership over your uh, fifth house as well now uh, again guys uh, from the fifth house the fifth house lord has gone to the uh, eighth so it has in a way gone are four places ahead of it so this is generally a time when lot many people who are already studying in overseas in foreign land and they plan a trip back to their home 
so this is how the energy will manifest so again guys uh, i would still uh, say the same thing more than causing damage this transit of venus during this year has got more potential to do good for you uh, it all comes down to how you are utilizing the energies of the planet venus and yes guys for uh, anything to do with the mantra sadhana japa and doing meditation and all so i would say that this is going to be a very favorable time for that as well moving ahead guys now for all the uh, aquarius lagna natives definitely guys uh, in your case as well uh, venus becomes a uh, yokaraka planet for you it has got the rulership over your uh, like a uh, fourth house and it has got a rulership over your ninth house as well and in transit it is going to be entering in your seventh house so for all those people who are single pertaining to the matters of romance relationship uh, finding uh, someone or being introduced to someone regarding all that front this is going to be a very favorable time like the way guys i have already mentioned this thing at the time when um, rahu transited the third house for the aquarius lagna natives ever since that transit happened i have been uh, warning all the aquarius lagna natives that do not blindly trust someone because you are very much uh, vulnerable towards getting betrayed by anyone close same way guys because this is how we have to study how planets are behaving around us now same way when we look at this year's transit of venus it is in a very uh, beneficial uh, influence receiving the aspect from your ascendant lord receiving the fifth aspect from the planet of fortune and blessing and you have to understand this thing in the original karl purush kundli venus has got a strong affinity with the seventh house so definitely pertaining to the matters of uh, commercial opportunities uh, personal relationship finding a partner matrimonial alliances point of view this is a very good time second thing is that guys uh, even if you will uh, pay attention to uh, what is happening right now in your uh, trine houses as well so i would say that it is a very good time for you know socializing um, going out networking with people and during this time there's a strong possibility that you like in any capacity if you are trying to advertise yourself promote yourself market yourself launch anything new so finding success in all those avenues can be foreseen and definitely guys because the good part over here is that because venus in your case is your ninth house lord as well so that means that whatsoever is gonna happen in your uh, seventh house related matters for the next one month that is going to be very much divine ordained or divine protected as well so i would say that the chances are very strong that during this time some substantial progress development accomplishment in your uh, business in your personal life can be foreseen and lastly guys for all the uh, pisces lagna natives so guys in your case as you can see that uh, although venus is not a very favorable planet for you and uh, but during this year uh, the kind of environment in which it is going to be transiting uh, in your sixth house it still has got a mixed potential and capacity to manifest some very good results as well so guys uh, now as you can see that in your case uh, venus has got a rulership over your uh, like uh, eighth house uh, and the uh, third house and it is going to be transiting in your sixth house so guys uh, one thing is for sure that in your uh, daily work life uh, do not be startled or taken back if suddenly you have to make some amendments some changes or there has to be a lot of adjustments you might have to do in your daily work life because guys you know this thing that um, why venus uh, do not feel at peace uh, whenever it is transiting from the sixth house no matter in which sign it is transiting over there uh, but uh, venus being in the sixth house whether in the natal chart or in the transit is a time period where uh, relationships are uh, tested more on practical terms rather than just on a uh, kind of high hello basis or just on a friendly way getting things done over here uh, on a very practical uh, terms uh, things get tested so yes guys uh, in your daily work life uh, i would say that because it's not only the uh, venus which is transiting in your sixth house but the house lord in itself is going to be a part of something very deep and intense taking place in your eighth house now you know this thing that the eclipse and all that energy is also going to be influencing the second house and eighth house excess of yours as well so i would say that be very uh, cautious and careful and very respectful towards the female co-workers and colleagues and um, try not to um, uh, bring or uh, implement some forceful change at your work front or even i would say that in your daily life as well this is a kind of a month where try to make peace and adjust and 
go with the flow in the matters of your daily routines and daily schedule rather than forcefully uh, bringing any change or experimenting with something new or specifically offending any females so in all these areas you have to be very cautious very careful and also guys because uh, in your case uh, like the way you can see this thing um, that uh, uh, Venus in your case has got a rulership over your uh, like a uh, third house as well. So suddenly some friend if he is this could be a friend this could be your uh, siblings as well. Um, there could be all those possibility as well that someone who is in dire need of money might suddenly turn up on your door as well. So manage things in a diplomatic way where uh, your move or your uh, gesture or behavior is not gonna end up offending people so that's all what i can say pertaining to the matters of this month's transit of venus in your sixth house so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page Dhaniwad.